Hey everybody, it's Thursday, it's time for your tech video. So tonight I'm going to show you some practical jokes and some pranks you can pull on your friends. You can fool them. Okay, so first of all, in this first prank, you need to have access to your friend's computer. And hopefully they have some icons on their desktop. So what you have to do is take a snapshot of the entire desktop and save a picture of the, of the um, desktop. Create a new folder, and then put like, all your friends' desktop items into the folder. All right, now their desktop is cleared off. So now you change their background image to the screenshot you just took. And it's just gonna show a picture of their old desktop, but it's actually not gonna be real icons. It's just gonna be the picture you took. So they're gonna try to click on this stuff they're just gonna think there's something wrong with their computer. Okay, next up is if your friend leaves their Facebook open. So you gotta post something, and Facebook has this option where they let you choose who sees what you post. So you have to select only me, and then make that their default option. So anytime they post something, none of their friends are gonna see it. It's only gonna be shown to them. And the odds are they're not gonna realize this probably for a couple weeks, at least a couple days. And then they're just not gonna have anybody posting on their stuff or seeing any of their stuff. For this next prank, if you can get a hold of your friend's cell phone and you just swap a couple of their contacts to phone numbers, the results can be pretty amazing. Like if you swap their girlfriend and their boss's phone numbers, they might try to call their girlfriend and end up like having a conversation with their boss. Okay, this next prank is if your friend leaves their Gmail open. So you go into the Gmail settings. In the general tab, you scroll down to the vacation responder, and have it reply with some random message. Like, hey, stop emailing me in big, font so it's going to automatically reply to any new email with this message so if like their boss emails them they're going to get a response that just says hey stop emailing me or if their like family member emails them they'll get a response that just says hey stop emailing me all right this next prank involves microsoft word so open up word on their computer Go to tools, go to autocorrect, and then you just make up fake words for it to autocorrect. Like let's say that the, your friend's name is Hank, tell it to replace Hank with Hank is dumb, add that to the autocorrect list of words, so every time they type their name Hank and press space, it's gonna add is dumb. Okay, so you can do that with really common words. Like you can replace the with uh, the. So every time they, they uh, type the, it's gonna misspell it. And uh, just use some common words or use words that they use a lot of, a lot of the time. And uh, you can convince them that they're just mistyping it or just randomly adding it. All right, there you go. Those are just a couple harmless pranks. But remember, don't prank your friends too much or they might not be your friends much longer. All right, have a nice day.